Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Once again, it's Joy CEO, your Master Mindset. If you are new here, I want you to know that in this channel, I do business and investment opportunities videos. So if you think that you're in the right channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so I can keep you updated every time I post another video. In this video, I will show you how to build your e-commerce Shopify platform, a step-by-step -step guide tutorial, and also I will give you some tips by using some applications that will increase conversion or traffic to your store if so I have been sharing a lot of videos on how you can take your online business to the next level and one of the things that you can do is to build your e-commerce or your own platform or basically your website for you to increase credibility or to make you stand out from other online businesses one of the most popular platform the easiest way to use and really affordable is the Shopify e-commerce platform so so if you haven't tried making one I have the link down below so you can check it's a 14 day free trial so I know you might be thinking that you know it's hard to do that and it's a bit technical but I assure you it's not that hard and I will make it easier for you by giving you a step-by-step -step guide so if you are already convinced I would really appreciate you can click the link down below to register for your Shopify account and we'll do it together so if you're ready I'll head on to my computer so from the link down below you will automatically redirected to the sign up page of Shopify so here you will provide the email address of your store and create a name for your store and then they will be asking questions to customize your experience and for survey purposes so now you will be automatically redirected here into your store dashboard and the left side menus will be useful when we start selling so now we add product i'll show you how to add product and so for me i'll put my first product as um all-purpose mist nano mist sprayer okay so and in the description box you have to put all the descriptions of your product that it will be important for your keyword search seo so we'll be discussing that furthermore in the future so now you can also upload media or image for your product and also while it's loading we can set pricing so for me I priced it at 380 and you can also um, input cost per item so for the inventory it's really important since um, you have to be systematized if you will also have your warehouse so you can put codes and for the quantity yes you have to put it so that Shopify will be um, no, or you will be notified or the customer if you don't have stocks already so here you can also put when you want your products to be published okay so now we are creating product variants so here in the page you can also click variants you can put your sizes color so for me i have only colored variants so it's um pink green and white so here you can also change the quantity of your your variant and you can also change the sku so now that it's complete we will assign product image to variants that you will look more organized or more appealing you can put um, images per variant so you just um, click the image add image and then it will automatically um, upload and that's it you all have your image per variant and you want to add another more you can just click add variants and add the image so you will also have another image per variant
and then you can also put the code inventory so that your your warehouse or your inventory will be systematized especially when you have a lot of products so here you might want to check or track the quantity and do not sell if you run out of the quantity okay so now you have four variants now you have pink green white and light pink so now we will go and change the theme so in the dashboard you can find here the themes so now you are um, in the blue team so you can explore themes so for the free themes they have a lot here that's what good about Shopify they have lo a lot of free themes so for me I want the minimalist the minimal so I choose the um, vintage one and this will be according to your preference so add a theme to the library so if you want to preview the theme you so now here you will see the the look of your store and the, now you can publish the theme so we will now go to customization let's customize our logo so here you can see um, the header you click the header and then you will see the logo you can select your image and change and upload your logo so here you can also um, resize the image if you want it bigger in custom menu so for the menu we can edit the main menu okay so you will be automatically redirected here in the navigation and then you can now put all the menu list that you want to add okay so for me i want to put all the product kinds that i have so i will have to put it in the home page and you can also delete um, menus that you want to delete now you will see here all the menu that you have input so for the announcement bar okay, you can also customize it if you want to announce something so you can put it you will see it in the top bar so for me i want it to be free shipping on your first order so you will see that on the top of your menu so now we will create a slide image so here you can see the images of the slide so you can select and upload image that you want the customers to see or to preview in your store so we will now design the home page so for the home page you can see that i put it in a mobile view so that you will have a better glimpse of what it will look like in the mobile and it's really important to edit it in a mobile page because customers will be buying in their mobile anyway most of your customers also now remove the pages that you want to remove from your menu for your, for from your home page so you can also choose a lot of so you can also choose so you can also choose you can also choose uh, featured products that you want to feature in the home page it depends on how do you want your store to look you can put payment icons and you can also remove some of the unimportant things that you want so it depends on you you can also put um, newsletter or sign up page you can also put uh, vlogs so now i'll teach you how to do or add collections so you go to the home page click add collections 
and and then it depends if you have what do you want them to see in your collection so now you will have this overall look for your product for your store and then you can also design the the layout of the theme okay so you can change the background color basically you can customize everything even the font you can choose a lot of fonts here available so for the favicon it is the icon on the on your web page oh, and you can also put your social media accounts here we have instagram pinterest okay tumblr youtube and so for the checkout bar you can also select image that they that you want them to see during checkout so you can put your logo to setting mode of payment so in the home page you will go to settings and then click payments here you can set up your paypal account or your paypal checkout so you have to complete account setup you are you also have third party payment providers but the thing is we don't have that available here in the philippines so you can go back and check for alternative payment method so we have here dragon pay dragon pay is available in the philippines and then you have to set it up so here you can also do manual payment methods which is the cod or the cash on the delivery so you will have to just input details of the instructions on how they can avail the cash on delivery so we go now to shipping rates you go to settings again shipping and delivery and now you can manage your rates you can check with your courier how much they will be charging you for the delivery so here in the philippines you can also do a standard rate for standard rate you can charge for me i can charge 100 pesos depends on uh, your courier rate and also what you can do is most of the online sellers here they charge for metro manila a standard rate or provincial rate you can also make a provincial rate since it's a different rate for provincial so you can double check with your courier how much they will charge you and also you can delete the rates if you want to so here you can also set up your sales channel or where you want to sell so you go to settings and click sales channel you can add sales channel so right now you have your online store in shopify so you can choose facebook or instagram or wherever you do your selling so now we will add an important application to your store so for the looks up you have to click the link down below for you to avail the 30 day free trial and then add up and you log in into your shopify store so here you will need to install the app and then you will automatically redirected here in the dashboard of looks photo reviews so what's good about looks it it will help you generate reviews automatically by sending a review request email to your customers after they purchase from your store and in addition your customer can also write a review directly from your product page by clicking a write a review button You can also import reviews, especially when you are also using AliExpress. So you can automatically generate the reviews from AliExpress. And you can also, they also have supported apps. You can check Shopify reviews. And you can also manually um, import file. 
sa review. So now we will purchase a domain. We're almost done. So you can go to the home page and check add domain. So here you will be using a Shopify.com, but I suggest for you to use um, a domain, a dot com domain that you can check its availability here. So for a domain, you can buy it for a 14 USD per year. So what's good about this? It it will look it will make your store look more credible. So yeah, you can choose um, use credit card or PayPal. If you want to disable the password and start selling, you have to purchase the plan for Shopify. So here you have the basic Shopify plan and the Shopify advanced Shopify plan. So if you are starting, you can choose the monthly Shopify plan which is 13 USD per year and you can uh, use your credit card or paypal and uh, yes congratulations you now have your own e-commerce platform shopify so now you can start selling these are all your products so when you start selling these menus on the left side will be really beneficial for you because you will have a record of everything that's what good about shopify because it, it is like a one-stop e-commerce platform and inventory that is really systematized so you won't have a hard time selling and generating reports you can also have a live view of your store so yeah, that's why I really love Shopify. So what I can suggest is if you have an online store or an online business, you really need to invest in a good e-commerce platform. And Shopify is making it easier and Shopify is making it easy for you. So now you can also create discount code. If you have influencers that you want to tap so that they can advertise your product, and it will be like a referral fee you can do that so you can generate a link that you can give to your influencers and when the customers use that link they will automatically receive a discount and also you can reward the influencer that will promote your product so that's all about it this will be your whole Shopify store. You can actually explore a lot of uh, things here in Shopify. You still have 14 days free trial. So if you want to make it look more um, catchy, professional, you can do that. There are a lot of Shopify tutorials that you can find in YouTube. And yes, that's it. Congratulations. Okay, so that ends our tutorial i hope you all learned something from this video and i really really wish you all the best in all your business endeavors and yeah let me know if you have started your own store so i can visit sometime and and don't forget to hit like share it to your friends or to your family that has online businesses and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you guys on my next one bye